The Great Debate Series. Best teams of the last 30 years. Okay, here we go. College basketball finishes out the week for us today. So let's hit it. Number five on the list. The 92-93 Michigan Wolverines. To the tie. Michigan will have to bring it. Oh, he walked. He walked and the referee missed it. Weber brings it into the front court. They have no timeouts for Oh, he calls it too many timeouts. That's a technical foul. He called a timeout. Michigan doesn't have any. He got by with a walk. He calls a timeout. He doesn't realize that's Michigan's too many. And so it'll be a technical foul. North Carolina shooting and the ball. A huge mental mistake. This was the second of the Fab Five teams. Of course, that was the Chris Webber timeout game in the championship against North Carolina. UNC goes on to win. The original Fab Five team the first year when it was five freshmen starting yeah. in a national championship game, the first time that it ever happened, that is outside our parameters of 30 years. So we couldn't put them on the list. Well, they couldn't make the list anyway because I assume the sophomore Fab Five, just because they're all a year older, has to be better than the original one. But was, are we celebrating these teams? Why do we have to play that clip? <laughs> I don't wasn't know. There a, wasn't there a memorable. clip that could celebrate Michigan? <laughs> That's what you're playing? Uh, okay, so they go 31-5 and five that year. Four out of five of those players all went on to play in the NBA. Um Chris Weber, Jalen Rose, Jawan Howard, Jimmy King, Ray Jackson. By the way, Jimmy King's going to join us later on in the show to talk about that iconic team. Jawan Howard, now the coach of Michigan, so it all comes full circle. Perloff, I'll give you a guess. What high-profile NBA executive was oh. also on the Fab Five Michigan team? Rob Palenka? You got it. Rob Palenka. Oh, yeah, he played a little bit, too. Lakers general manager also on that team. Uh, iconic team. Really? Oh, well, there's a reason they're 30 for 30s on that team. They were not just amazing. They were incredible influencers on sports. It, they changed everything. Number four on our list, greatest college basketball teams of the last 30 years, the 93-94 Arkansas Razorbacks. Under 10 on the shot clock. Stewart's open. Stewart, one on the shot clock. Thurman beat it. Oh, he got a three-pointer. Huge arch on that. He had to do it to get it over Lang's hand. There you go. That was the Scotty Thurman three that will live forever. They won the NCAA tournament that year. It was the Nolan Richardson 40 minutes of hell. They took out two number two seeds in the tournament, including Arizona, which had Damon Stoudemire, Duke, which had Grant Hill, Cherokee Parks. They also took out a number three seeded Michigan team. Corliss Williamson was the most outstanding player of that tournament. You heard the Scotty Thurman highlight. Alex Dillard, Corey Beck, Dwight Stewart, Clint McDaniel, you know, there's this metric called SRS. I'm not going to bore you with it, but know this. It's the average point differential. So how much you were winning by versus your strength of schedule. They were number one in the country by that metric. Let's move on. Number three on our list. Greatest college basketball teams in the last 30 years. The 2008-2009 North Carolina Tar Heels. Tar Heels go the other way. It's Lawson on the left side. Playing off of him now is Lucas. He'll give it to Ellington. Long outside shot. Good. Oh, oh a high arcing three from right in front of the Michigan State bench. Incredible year. 34 and four that season. Won the national title. That was the fifth at the time for North Carolina in their school's history. If you remember, the year before, they lost. North Carolina lost to Kansas, and it was devastating. And that's when Wayne Ellington and Ty Lawson and Danny Green withdrew from the draft to come back to North Carolina. Tyler Hansborough did never declare for the draft. They all came mm. back to give it one more run. They also had Deion Thompson on that team, Ed Davis, Larry Drew, Tyler Zeller was on that team. They beat number two Oklahoma in the tournament with Blake Griffin, number three Villanova with the Corys. You remember Corey Stokes and Corey Fisher, and number two Michigan State featuring Draymond Green. Why do we have 1950s radio announcers on all these highlights? <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, yeah, Hensborough throws it into Ellington, <laughs> who throws it into uh, Lawson. What is it? What? This was not that long ago. It was 2009. <laughs> it feels like it was a 100-year-old clip from the History, history Museum. Okay. It's vintage. Uh, okay, number two on the list, greatest college basketball teams the last 30 years, 2000-2001, Duke Blue Devils. Jason Williams doing a smart thing now, trying to keep the ball away from Gardner so he doesn't pick up that foul, put the ball handling in Duhon, and do not leave his hands. Using it all, 10 on the clock. Jason, three-pointer. Got it. Hasn't had it all night. Well, and they had to. Gardner, 45 to go. He nails it. 
beat Arizona in the championship game that year with a Gilbert Arenas, Richard Jefferson, Luke Walton squad. This was the Jay Williams, Shane Battier, Mike Dunleavy, Carlos Boozer, Chris Duhon version. Of course, with Coach K at the helm, they beat number four UCLA in the tournament with Matt Barnes, number three Maryland with Juan Dixon, who mentioned Arizona. They won all their games in that tournament by double figures. They were a juggernaut, five players going to the NBA. This was tough because the 98-99 Duke team was yeah. also very good, but they lost that title to UConn. Therefore, we did not put them on the list. It's, okay. it's tough to differentiate the different Duke teams because they all were very, very similar. But they let's also add that they were a very well-coached team. I and mean, we could go there, right? They were all – I think they, they were great in part because Coach K was their coach and they played as a team. Because that talent is not like 98-99, right? You just said it. It's a good team. But they were way better than some of the parts. That's all I'll say. Okay, so if we've done Michigan, we've done Arkansas, and we've done North Carolina, we've done Duke, now we get to number one. So which Kentucky team did we go with? Kentucky inside. Hope brings it out. On track. Maybe four. And who committed the foul? Is that Bergen? That's his third. I said they ought to introduce him to number double zero. Who doesn't love Tony Delk with the double zero? We picked the 95-96 Kentucky Wildcats team that was coached by Rick Pitino. 34-2, 16-0 in conference play. And on to the title. They beat number four Utah with Keith Van Horn. Number two Wake Forest with Tim Duncan. A number one ranked UMass team with Marcus Camby. And then number four Syracuse with John Wallace. That was in the final. You had Antoine Walker. You had Ron Mercer as a freshman. We mentioned Delk. Walter McCarty, Derek Anderson, Mark Pope, Nazi Muhammad was a freshman on that team. Nine future NBA players on that 95-96 Kentucky team. Second in the entire nation in scoring that year. When I was on vacation last week, Perloff and Zach Gelb spoke to Antoine Walker, who said this. Well, I mean, it's not even close. I think when you look at our body of work, um, the margin of victory in which we won, I think it was like 23 or 24. The number of pros that were produced from that team, I think it was like nine. But the way we play, that's just the dominance and the margin of victory, um, it, it speaks for itself. And the player success after being in college, too, you add that to it. That's why I think we're arguably the best team to ever play. Were you the first Kentucky team that just stacked pros, that it was kind of too deep pro at every position? Yeah, our practices were tougher than our games. Literally, our practices used to be unbelievable. So there you go. That was Antoine Walker saying why the 95-96 team should be considered over, you were asking about the 20 2012 Anthony, 2012 Davis, Anthony team, yeah. Davis team that also won. And that, by the way, here's what the fact that kill, seals that argument. That team in 96 had Tony Delk was a senior. Antoine Walker was a sophomore. Walter Bacardi was a senior. Derek Anderson was a junior. And Ron Mercer was a freshman. Can you imagine? Have you ever seen, when's the last time you saw a college basketball team in the Final Four with seniors, Maggie? Well, in that the 90s, once, that th used to happen. Right. So they would destroy <laughs> these, like, 19-year-old teams uh, of Calipari or Alaire. I'm just saying. I, I'm sorry. I think you got to go old school on this list because actually people stayed in college basketball. We all know a senior is way better than a freshman. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was an incredible team. I mean, it was hard to argue, even though the 2012 Kentucky team um, is an amazing team. Well, I mean, they, yeah, but it's so funny that 2012 team doesn't have all the pros. They they that was right before they started churning through the one and done. Well, I mean, Anthony Davis and Michael K. Gilchrist. But yeah. that's about it, though, right? Um, they had uh, uh, Lamb, Dron Lamb. They also yeah. had Terrence Jones did make it to the league, too. I mean, yeah. listen, I you could have gone 2012. I mean, the Carl Anthony Towns year, they didn't win, though. If you want to do an NBA team, that I can't believe. I don't know if you have I've never seen a collection of talent like that. But if you're all freshmen, you're not, you know, it's like the Fab Five. That's why the Fab Five is remarkable. A team, you said if five starting freshmen made the Final Four. How hard is that to do? Game. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's so hard to do. Uh, okay, 855-212-4CBS, 855-212-4227. So just to recap our list for you, five greatest college basketball teams the last 30 years, 92-93 Michigan, just 93 Michigan, 94 Arkansas, 2009 North Carolina, 2001 Duke, and number one on the list, the 96 Kentucky team. So, how'd we do? 855-212-4CBS. Samters ticked off. He's been mad about this for <laughs> days, by the way. Yeah. You're yeah, pouting. I, it's, a, it's a disaster. Well, listen, I, I have every right to pout. I'm a powder uh, in general, but 
I honestly, we'll discuss any of this out of the break, but for you guys to put that 01 Duke team over the 98 99 Duke team is a travesty to sports. Who, well, they... who won the title and who lost <laughs> it the title? It doesn't matter. We put the 07 Patriots, we put the Michigan team on there. This Duke team was the best team I've ever seen assembled outside of maybe the UNLV teams, UNLV teams that weren't eligible for this. Right. Well, outside of the team that beat them in the championship game, then or, explain that. What it. I mean, they lost to UConn. UConn was great that year, also had two losses, but that was a great UConn team. They lost a close game. This Duke team won 32 straight games. Every single starter was a lottery pick. Elton Brand, Trajan Langdon, William Avery, Corey Maggette, and Shane Battier. Every single one of them was a lottery pick. This team would have been, and they were all freshmen or sophomores at the time of this year. Oof. This team was so good. Okay, they wait. were dominating. Okay, but that... It- that's it. I don't know that. I thought you were going to say juicier names than what you just read. <laughs> you're giving well, me William Avery, who never should have gone into the draft, by the way. He should not have. But he averaged 15 points that year. But an older but Shane asking, Battier is better than a young Shane. Shane Battier was a freshman on that team. He was not the player that he was later on. Yeah, is, but on the on the other, I'm sorry, man, but on yeah. the 0-1 team, Chris Duhon was a second round pick. Carlos Boozer was a second round pick. I, ironically, Boozer, Boozer ended up being is the best, one of the better of the, the best, players. One of the best pros on this yeah. list besides Battier, Dunleavy, Jay Williams. If he hadn't gone to the motorcycle accident, we have no but idea. The Alaskan assassin, Trajan Langdon. You can't go wrong with that. You know who else was on the 01 team? Not that this swayed us at all. We're just talking about other random people. Reggie Love, member, ended up working in oh. the White House. So we mentioned Rob Polinka was on the Fab Five team. He's now the GM of the Lakers. So there's just some random people out there on these teams, too. Well, it's funny. The Duke, the Duke teams have talent, but they don't have Kentucky talent, right? I mean, you're arguing for this team with five or six pros. We have Kentucky rosters with 11 pros on them. I thought that this list should have been the first time all week that we put two teams from the same school or program on the list. And I thought we should have put both the 2012 Kentucky team and the 96 Kentucky team. That I thought we could have done that, but we didn't.